Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be doing part five of The Big Bang Theory, season three, okay? I am excited for this. And we've only got, after this one, we got two more parts, which will feature four episodes each. So, we're getting through this kind of quick. We're about a quarter of the way through as soon as these last three videos are done. So, yeah. Just, you know... It's been a fun ride, but I'm like, I love continuing it and everything like that. So if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue our journey on to the Big Bang Theory. Seems like forever since the four of us have been out to eat, you know, just the guys. Oh God, yes we get it, you have a girlfriend now. <laughs> Jealous. Let Howard go because he's literally doing the best that he can. Oh dear lord, they redid the menu. Oh, here we go. So what? It's the same food. Oh, is it? I mean, look at this. General So's chicken is no longer listed under specialties. It's now under chicken. <laughs> so, it's a chicken yes, dish. So. Did the chef lose confidence in the dish or himself? Oh my god. And look over here. <laughs> shrimp in mobster sauce. Mobster sauce? What is mobster sauce? I don't know. It's obviously a typo. Front for organized crime. <laughs> all, we know the mobster sauce contains actual chunks of deceased oh mobsters. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I think it just means it's the kind of sauce that mobsters like. Let's just get a pizza. Good idea. We'll go to Corleone's. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, no mobsters there. <laughs> You know, the more I think about it, the mobster sauce couldn't possibly contain chunks of mobster. He's still on this. Like, he's still what on this. That? What if they were mobsters who slept with the fishes? <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Leonard, are we having a serious conversation or not? Oh, my God. The TV is gone. So are our laptops. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! It's all right. They didn't take my comic books. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I know that's what he was gonna go after, too? Like a cheerleader for this show. Our TV, two laptops, four external hard drives, our PS2, our PS3, our Xbox, our Xbox 360, our classic Nintendo, our Super Nintendo, our Nintendo 64. And oh my God. They were obviously going to sell that. Like, it, maybe they were going to GameStop with it because GameStop used to take those things, but they don't anymore. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics. Oh my God. <laughs> and Ms. Pac-Man. And Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> Assorted video games. When does the CSI team get here? What? what? In anticipation of their arrival, I've bagged some evidence. One of the thieves had the audacity to quench his thirst while ransacking our home. You should be able to pull some good prints <laughs> off this. And now, what about me? I'm sorry, Leonard. It's too early to discount the possibility of this being an inside job. What the heck? Should I be completely out of line to ask you to shoot him? <laughs> I'd be happy to put him under a 72-hour psychiatric hold. <laughs> I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. Fax you a copy of the report so you can submit it to the insurance company. I, I'm sorry. That's the end of your inquiry? Well, yeah. Do you have any more information that might be relevant? D oh, my goodness. Where do I begin? For instance, my laptop <laughs> contained four out of the five Godalkin experiments necessary for a cogent restatement of the quantum measurement problem. If so, the authors are most likely in possession of my stolen laptop. <laughs> Sheldon, you know, that was actually Tonight pretty Thomas. smart, but no. <laughs> Come on, Bosco. Watch TV on our phones until the criminals return and bludgeon us to death in our sleep. <laughs> Does that mean you've ruled me out as a suspect? Oh, how I wish I could. <laughs> oh no, Sheldon. It's okay. Nobody's coming, Sheldon. <laughs> what? Go to bed, Sheldon. It's okay. <laughs> I do not have to urinate. 
drat. <laughs> Here we go. I can't believe it. If I hadn't been working the dinner shift, I would have run right into the robbers. Leonard and Penny. Leonard and Penny. Really? Leonard and Penny. Hand me the bat. <laughs> <laughs> We just had a major crime in the building, and you open the door without asking who it is. Who else would it be? It won't happen again. What's up? Fun to see if you were both okay. We're fine, Sheldon. All right, then. <laughs> Good night. Aww. Well, that was weird, even for him. Uh, may I come in? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to find his spot again. I see you're drinking wine. Sheldon, do you want to sleep here tonight? Oh, as small as Leonard is, I don't think the two of you would be comfortable on the couch. Wow. So what do you want? I mean, it's not what I want. It's what evolution wants. Human beings are primates. Primates have evolved to live in groups, both for protection and support. It's scary over there. It's getting scary here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I'm in college right now to get a creative writing degree, and I feel like I would love to work on a show that would be just like this and just make comedy gold like this. Hydrogen atom, H, plus pigs minus P, Higgs. Bo, General Zod trapped in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> What? Bozone. Higgs, boson, particle. How could you not get that? <laughs> right, Penny. It's all there. <laughs> Sheldon, sweetie, I know you're feeling insecure, but we've really got to go to sleep. <laughs> Sheldon, okay. I get it, though. I would be terrified, too, if somebody broke into my apartment. I understand. But chill. <laughs> no, Jim. Listen to her, Jim. Don't worry. There's no one out there. Oh, God. <laughs> Let in Penny! Let in Penny! <laughs> We've got a titanium deadbolt and a reinforced jam controlled by a state-of-the-art electronic access system. What if they cut the power? There's a 200 watt uninterruptible backup power supply. What if someone steals my key? Running state of the art facial recognition software. Oh, where did you get all this stuff? <laughs> got a buddy over at the Department of Defense. He just gave it to you? <laughs> no. Sure, he would have if I'd asked. <laughs> what the hell? Technically, their security isn't all that good. As somebody who was in the military, I could tell you that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful security system if we're attacked by a school of tuna. Don't worry, the net's gonna be electrified. You picture her on the floor spasming uncontrollably. Sheldon's journal. Security system in place. However, sleep continues to elude me. Uh -huh. I've seen the underbelly of Pasadena. Ah, the injustice. <laughs> I lie here awake, tormented, while out there evil lurks. Probably playing Donkey Kong on my classic Nintendo. I'm surprised his dresser isn't at the door this time. <laughs> These little noises. Oh no. Why are you climbing out the window? What are you doing? I am the master of my own bladder. <laughs> Sheldon, you're not Spider-Man. Why are you doing this? No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let him it. What the hell are you doing out there? <laughs> I heard a noise. <laughs> It was us. We knocked over a lamp. Carry on. What are you doing? Use the door. Good thinking. <laughs> hey, perhaps I'll check the perimeter and make some more milk. Great. You do that. Good night to you, sir. Miss. 
Sorry about that. Uh, what can you do? Uh. He's gonna no Oh no. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Looks like Wallowitz got the net electrified. <laughs> Sheldon, are you okay? My new computer came with Windows 7. Oh my god, that's how old this show Windows is? Windows 7 is much more user-friendly than Windows Vista. God. I remember that war between Windows 7 and Vista, and now we're all the way up to 11. Our apartment was broken into. Our security system tried to kill me, and as a result, <laughs> I'm leaving Pasadena forever. Tell me how that's overreacting. <laughs> I mean... Come on, Sheldon, you can't move. Don't you need to stay in one place so the mothership can find you when it returns? <laughs> High-speed internet connectivity, but no model train shops. That's a deal breaker. Sorry, Enid. Yep. That's a deal breaker. Is he quitting his job at the university? Oh, no, he's gonna telecommute. But Penny, you're from Nebraska, correct? Born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> it will take me a few days to get settled. After I do, I will email you detailed PDFs. Where the hell are you going? Instructions. I sense you're making a joke, but Bozeman does have a comedy club called the Looney Bin, so do not forward my mail there. Oh, come on. So you were the victim of a crime. That's part of life. But those people moved on, and so should you. I am moving on. I'm going to be a Bozite. <laughs> they call themselves Bozites? They should. It's one of the first things I plan to bring up upon arrival. As you know, I'm not comfortable with prolonged goodbyes and maudlin <laughs> displays of emotion. So I prepared a short video. Oh, God. As you know, I'm not comfortable with prolonged goodbyes and maudlin displays of emotion. So I prepared this short video. The four of you are three of my closest friends what? and one treasured acquaintance. Oh. Which one's which? <laughs> the statistics suggest that you will succumb to tragic and gruesome ends before we meet again. Oh my Good god. Prosper. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Sheldon, that's so... He's gone. Oh my god. You might want to lock the door behind me. <laughs> This isn't Bozeman. How the hell do I know who's the friend and who's the acquaintance? I was asking the same thing. I got you. He's gonna get there and go it right back. Racing cold. An invigorating cold. Help you with your bag, sir? Oh, thank you, fellow Bozite. Oh no, it's gonna and get may stolen. I you are the living embodiment of all the promises made by our lovely town's chamber of commerce. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh no. One ticket to Pasadena, California. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? I said he'd be right back. Hey, look who's back. Interesting. The acquaintance is the first to greet me. I don't even know what to say to that. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Penny's reaction, though. What you doing? I'm attempting to view my work as a fleeting peripheral image so as to engage the superior colliculus of my brain. I usually just have coffee. He looks like he was up all night. night. Is it yeah. morning? Yes. Then I've been up all night. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, I can't help you till I've had my coffee. Right? <laughs> oh, let's see if I can follow him. Oh my god. Penny, I told you if you don't put him in his crate at night, he just runs around the apartment. <laughs> What's he doing now? Mm, he's either isolating the terms of his formula and examining them individually, or looking for the alligator that swallowed his hand after Peter Pan cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. It just won't coalesce. Maybe you need a fresh start. You're right. Oh? That's the first time Letter Letter's ever got, like, acknowledgement from him. And I'm sorry, I had a weird speech impediment. 
It's a great idea, Leonard. Thank you. <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. The pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey! <laughs> Electrons move through graphene, act as if they have no mass. How long has he been stuck? Mm, intellectually, about 30 hours. Emotionally, about 29 years. <laughs> Have you tried rebooting him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a firmware problem. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Bernadette's been hawking me to take her roller skating. I think Penny likes to skate. The four of us could double. What could be better? We're in. Great. Yeah, what so about I Raj? Up because I wanted to go. Come with us. No, it's okay. I don't have to go. I'm happy just to guide you and your ladies to suitable entertainment choices. I'm a walking brown yelp.com. <laughs> <laughs> this morning he used a stick of butter as deodorant. Oh my god. I thought I smelled popcorn. That's that's a smell I don't need to envision. On the pathway is hexagonal. It's always hexagonal. Hey, those are my lima beans. Not lima beans, carbon atoms. But if I don't eat my lima beans, I can't have my cookie. What? Here, you want my peas? The peas, perfect. They can be electrons. <laughs> Corn. Roller skating. Should we all grab a bite to eat first? Good. P.F. Chang's? My mom has coupons. Oh, great. <laughs> Your mom's not coming, right? No. no. This time, I promise. Roller skating was my idea, and I'm very unhappy that you turned it into a double date, and I hope you both fall on your asses and break your coccyxes. Oh, my God. <laughs> the plural of coccyx is coccyges. Have you ever been so embarrassed? Not recently. I don't know which was lamer. They're roller skating or they're disco dancing. For me, the worst part was when people saw us leave with them. Oh, no. You had some nice moves out there, Howard. Did you notice all the people looking at us? <laughs> Not really. I was in my boogie zone. <laughs> Howard, those skinny jeans are too much. Bruise my coccyx. Oh, poor baby. Don't tell Kuthra Polly. <laughs> you? Oh, what a gentleman. Here's oh, my God. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord, you're ruining everything. Sheldon, what the hell are you doing? Same thing I've been doing for three days. Trying oh my to God. Out why electrons behave as if they have no mass when traveling through a graphene sheet. With marbles? I needed something bigger than peas, now didn't I? <laughs> Sheldon? I don't need sleep. I need answers. I need to determine <laughs> where in this swamp of unbalanced formulas squatteth the toad of truth. <laughs> of truth what happens to our neuroreceptors when we don't get enough REM sleep <laughs> they lose their sensitivity to serotonin and norepinephrine oh god to bad things impaired cognitive function oh right. but I don't want to go to bed <laughs> I'm gonna count to three. Oh god One. oh, oh god right. not Bernadette counting to three that was amazing how you handled him my mother used to run an illegal daycare center in our basement. <laughs> Hold up. In the basement? The basement. No. Leonard, you're, you're giggling in your sleep. It's not me. It's my new ringtone. <laughs> Joker from Batman. Hello? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's my roommate. Uh-oh. Oh, God, is he okay? <laughs> what happened? Sheldon's escaped and is terrorizing the village. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have fun. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sheldon escaped <laughs> <laughs> He's terrorizing the village. Really? <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Ball pit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not calling the cops. Okay, it's no big deal. My sister's got a kid who's special. <laughs> yeah, well, he's extra special. <laughs> what you doing? Size ratio was all wrong. Couldn't visualize it. Need a bigger carbon atoms. Sure, sure. <laughs> 
How did you get into this place? Back door has a five pin <clears throat> tumbler system, single circuit alarm, child's play. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. <laughs> but I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna have to drag you out. You can try. <laughs> For God's sakes! <laughs> Bazinga. Sheldon, what do you want? I came to tell you, I've got the answer. Really? You figured out the graphene problem? No, no, I'm still hopelessly stuck on that, but I figured out how to figure it out. Einstein. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. <laughs> Albert Einstein. No, no, really. Keep going. When Albert Einstein came up with special relativity, he was working at the patent office. I'm going to find a similarly menial job where my basal ganglia are occupied with a routine task, freeing my prefrontal cortex to work quietly in the background on my problem. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, good night to you too. I have a headache. Oh, by the way, I was watching you sleep for a moment and I noticed that your snoring seems to be worse when you're on your back. Leonard doesn't snore. No, I wasn't talking to Leonard. <laughs> so, Mr. Cooper, you're oh, looking God. for a job. A menial job. <laughs> like yours. Why, thank you for noticing. Do you have a particular field in mind? I do. For thousands of years, the lowest classes of the human race have spent their lives laboring to erect monuments under the lash of their betters, until finally they dropped down and became one with the dust through which they trudged. Okay, so there's a lot of things no. wrong with that sentence. <laughs> Shouldn't you check your database? No. No. <laughs> so how about construction? Oh, that would be good. Just Sheldon, falling, you can't even lift 50 pounds. Eating out of a lunch pail as my working class fellows and I sit perched precariously on a girder high above the metropolis. One question. Yes? What's sheetrock? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> How about doing deliveries for a florist? That seems acceptable. Do you have your own car? I don't drive. So how are you going to deliver? Of course you don't. What was your last job? Senior theoretical particle physicist at Caltech focusing on M theory or in Why'd you quit? string theory. <laughs> I see. Just give me a second. Security! Why security? <laughs> okay, I'll get those drinks started for you. He's gonna get a job at the cheesecake. Oh, he's a busser! <laughs> I'm trying to get these tables cleared. We're slammed. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, no, wait. What are you doing here? A reasonable question. I ask myself, what is the most mind-numbing pedestrian job conceivable? And three answers came to mind. And what Penny does. Now, <laughs> since I don't like touching other people's coins, and I refuse to contribute to the devaluation of the word genius, here I am. <laughs> I didn't need to be hired. I simply came in, picked up a tray, and started working for the man. What? Let me get that plate out of your way. Sheldon, this is ridiculous. Well, is it? Just a moment. He's going to drop that. Epiphany regarding the polymer degradation phenomenon while scraping congealed nachos off a plate. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I'll be your server today. <laughs> I don't recommend the salmon. I saw it in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. Here's your tartar sauce. I also brought you salsa. It's a little unconventional, but I think you'll like it. It's zingy. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, factory burrito grande. No cheese, no sour cream, no ugly consequences from your lactose intolerance. Black beans, not pinto beans? Yes. Double guacamole? Of course. No cilantro? <laughs> nope. Lettuce shredded, not chopped? Yep. You understand why I'm doing this to you? I do. That'll be all. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what Sheldon does. <laughs> If we all chipped in, we could buy Sheldon the van. But he's afraid of dogs. Yeah, that's the only thing wrong with that plan. 
<laughs> hey, guys, sorry you had to wait, but we are swamped. Well, uh, honey, not to complain, but we were starting to think you didn't either. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that really necessary? <laughs> Good Lord. The it's all there. Pattern in the fracture. I can't consider the electrons as particles. They move through the graphene as a wave. <laughs> it's a wave. <laughs> the moment to applaud would be now. <laughs> Where are you going? Aren't you going to clean this up? Well, I'm sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he shoots, he scores. Oh God. <laughs> He's still in the ball pit. Come here. Bazinga. <laughs> here we go again. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> uh, listen, I gotta go, but I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, no, you hang up first. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> she actually did it. There's an economic concept known as a positional good in which an object is only valued by the possessor because it's not possessed by others. The term was coined in 1976 by economist Fred Hirsch to replace the more colloquial but less precise neener neener. Although I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a little bit of a perk. <laughs> oh my God. Who's miserable and alone? Me. Oh, I used to be like that. Then I got a girlfriend. <laughs> in pre-1976 terms, neener neener. How about you want to bet if Raj actually does talk to women, like literally he'd have like three girlfriends right now. Given that St. Valentine was a third century Roman priest who was stoned and beheaded, wouldn't oh my a God. appropriate celebration of the evening be taking one steady gal to witness a brutal murder? <laughs> I understand your point, but given a choice, Jews always go with Chinese food. <laughs> Buying rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, taking it home, standing over the sink, and eating it out of the package in my bare hands like an animal. <laughs> oh, Why does it sound like something I would want to do? Horse, one. Fine, tell us you're going to have sex with Penny. That's not what I was going to tell you. It's okay. I don't mind hearing about your sex life. It's his that bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Professor Norton can't make it. He threw his back out rock climbing. Well, I heard he threw his back out climbing on his new girlfriend. But the big <laughs> weather girl on Channel 2? So in any case, they're asking me to fill in for him. And That's awesome. The big weather girl. I'm so happy. I'm not even going to question their judgment in picking you. I'm just going <laughs> to run home and start packing. It's not going to be you. Why wouldn't you take Penny? I am taking Penny. <laughs> oh. Well, then I anticipate an awkward situation when you get home. Yep, that's going to be fun. <laughs> I told you, it's not weird until I catch myself in the camera doing it, and then it's weird. Which ski hat says Opre Super Collider? <laughs> Sheldon, I'm not taking you to Switzerland. Well, of course you are. Who else would you take? We can go sightseeing and skiing and make love in front of a roaring fire in the shadow of the snow-capped Alps. That sounds romantic, actually. But Penny has no interest in subatomic particle research. <laughs> I've been dreaming about going to the Large Hadron Collider since I was nine years old. Yeah? Well, I've been dreaming about spending Valentine's Day with a girl since I was six. <laughs> Shame on you. That's no dream for a scientist. This tray contains clues as to what you and I are going to be doing on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Cheese. Okay, got it. Cheese. We've got uh, milk chocolate. My lactose intolerant boyfriend is going to eat all this, and I'm going to climb on his back and rock it to the moon. <laughs> that was good, actually. 
No. <laughs> but it does involve air travel. Okay, I'm starting to think Swiss is key here. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry, Penny, come We're on. We're going to Disneyland and ride the Matterhorn. <laughs> That was that was almost there. Switzerland is almost like Disney travel? World. I've been to Switzerland. We're going to Switzerland to see the CERN Super Collider. <laughs> and ski. We'll also go skiing. We're going skiing in Switzerland. Well, you'll ski. I'll fall. Not so fast. <laughs> what? You hold off on lighting your Ribelichtli, Penny. My Ribe Whatley? Ribe Leachley, it means turn up light and refers to a traditional lantern hand carved from a root vegetable and used to celebrate certain Swiss festivals. You will not be going to Switzerland. What? Uh, we've been through this. I'm taking Penny. Afraid not. Do you recognize this? Uh, not the roommate agreement. Indeed. <laughs> Appendix C, future commitments number 37. In the event one friend is ever invited to visit the Large Hadron Collider, now oh, in no. construction in Switzerland, he shall invite the other friend to accompany him. Oh, for God's sake. If one of us wins a MacArthur grant, or if one of us gets superpowers, or if one of us <laughs> is bitten by a zombie. He can't kill me even if I turn. <laughs> One of you gets a girlfriend? No, that seemed a little far-fetched. I've lived up to all my commitments under the agreement. At least once a day I ask how you are, even though I simply don't care. <laughs> I no longer stage spontaneous biohazard drills after 10 p.m. And I abandon my goal to master tube and throat singing. Yeah, I know I shouldn't ask, oh. but what it is... Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'd be much further along if I'd been allowed to practice. But I am taking Penny to Switzerland. Is that your final decision? It is. Uh-oh. Very well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, Sheldon's always got an ace in the hole. It's not over, is it? <laughs> what do you think? Think it's gonna rain? Instead of underpants, I covered my crotch with potato salad this morning. Thoughts? <laughs> okay, I know what'll cheer you up. Let's play one of your driving games. All right. This game is called Traitors. <laughs> you really think I belong with Benedict Arnold and Judas? You're right. Judas had the decency to hang himself after what he did. Oh my god! Come on, Sheldon, can't you at least try to understand how much this means to me? I'm sorry I couldn't hang with you last night. I had a date with Bernadette. I know. I saw the tweet. <laughs> so what do you end up doing? Not much. Nuked a burrito. Is he still mad about the super collider? Yeah, he thinks I betrayed him. Well, come on, what would you guys do if you were me? I'd take Sheldon to Switzerland. Seriously? Why? Absolutely. No. I'd leave him there. <laughs> there it was. What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, 30 pieces of silverware. <laughs> what is... What is the significance of that? Did I miss something? Oh my god. What's going on? I've made you breakfast. I have juice, coffee, and pancakes in the shape of some of your favorite fictional characters. See, here's Frodo. Oh no. You made Frodo pancakes? Why are you doing this? It's by way of an apology for my recent behavior. Uh-oh. I've had some time to reflect and... No, 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 no. Sheldon has got a loophole right now. I've written agreements. It's uh -oh. the result of two people respecting and caring for each other. Butterscotch scone? <laughs> Hi. Good. What you're tasting is respect and affection. After you finished breakfast, I thought we could spend the day watching the final season of Babylon 5 with director commentary. Uh -oh. You hate Babylon 5. I do. It fails as drama, science fiction, and it's hopelessly derivative. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's buttering up okay, to him. Great. Still not taking you to Switzerland. Drat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! It was conditional. It was a trap. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh. All right, let's dispense with the friendly banter. Uh-oh. <laughs> I believe you know why I'm here. Uh-oh. Extraordinary intelligence might well appear extraterrestrial to you, but let me be more specific. I believe you know why I'm here in the laundry room. Better acoustics for your throat singing? You know... <laughs> it's actually not bad. <laughs> but my true purpose in being here will be revealed in this brief PowerPoint presentation. Oh, God. 
He has an Alienware laptop. That's how you know it's powerful. Why Sheldon Cooper, Ph.D. should go to Switzerland to see the CERN Super Collider. A PowerPoint presentation by Sheldon Cooper, Ph.D. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. Here we go. His work has brought him to the precipice of forever changing mankind's understanding of the universe, a.k.a. me. <laughs> and here we have a waitress brushing her teeth oh, with no. her finger. <laughs> a.k.a. you. This is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland, the product of decades of planning and construction. It is a mecca for physicists the world over. Let's see if we can match the individual to the appropriate destination. Okay, show's over. No, it's not. I've got five more slides. Sheldon, this is Leonard's decision. He invited me to Switzerland, and I intend to go. Very well. Sheldon's going to have to get over it going to be in the presence of something that I've dreamed of seeing for decades. I just hope you'll be able to appreciate the magnitude of where you are and what it represents. Hmm. You will? Yes. If it means that much to you. No. You no. Oh. Girl. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Since I rarely hug, I'm relying on your expertise regarding duration. <laughs> Literally, Sheldon is not in the right at this point. He is not in the right at all. I'm kind of mad that Penny's going to talk to Leonard about this. First, I'm going to go to one of those spas in Koreatown. Uh, take a steam, get a massage. What? Then I'm going to stop at a pet store and get licked by puppies. <laughs> Sheldon, I need to talk to you. I'm preparing my gastrointestinal system for the exotic cuisine of Switzerland. You're not going. You're not going to switzerland oh but i am didn't penny tell you the good news she told me that you went behind my back to guilt her into letting you go instead of her i was the one who was invited i get to decide who goes with me and it's penny not you howard could you lower the lights i have a short powerpoint presentation <laughs> oh my god I need to see your presentation this discussion is over sheldon at this point i would go by myself before i would take you really yeah really well then you leave me no alternative. Oh, God. From this moment forward, we can be roommates, but we will no longer be friends. Oh. I'm sorry you feel that way. The friendship clause of our roommate agreement nullified. You are no longer entitled to accompany me to go swimming at Bill Gates' house should I be invited. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just think, this time tomorrow we'll be in Geneva, Switzerland for our first Valentine's Day. I know. <laughs> I went shopping today and bought special undies for the occasion. Mm. Thermal? Because it's going to be cold. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Or as I said, no. Switzerland. tight. <laughs> She's going to get sick. You getting a cold? No, oh, no. It's probably just allergies. <laughs> oh, God. No, Penny. <gasps> Penny. Penny? Do not What's going on? I'm having a tea party. What do you think's going on? <laughs> oh. I think I might have the flu. Well, our plane leaves at 9 a.m. Do you think you'll feel better by then? <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to be dead. <laughs> oh. Hey, Sheldon, if you're still interested, you're welcome to come. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. Here's your soup. Oh god. Chicken. Yes. With the little stars? Yes. I don't understand how this happened to me. I'm scrupulous about my hygiene. I regularly disinfect my hands and I avoid contact with other people on general principle. I don't know what to tell you, Sheldon. This is too much now. Oh no. It's you. I touched you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Leonard. Oh, he's all by himself. Oh, he took Raj. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this room. Champagne, roses, oh, and little chocolates. Yeah, I forgot about all this. But I never will. 
<laughs> All right, so that was part five of the Big Bang Theory. Those were some really, really good episodes, I gotta say. The whole ball pit scene had me rolling. Like, I <laughs> swear, if I wasn't recording, I would have probably fallen out of my chair, because that was a lot. It was funny. Um... These episodes just keep getting better and better. And I think season three is like my favorite season so far. It's just got too much funny stuff in it. But if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Remember everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.